Hello and welcome to Exoset the Exo Channel. I'm your host Exoset and this is my preview review of the Titanfall technical test for Xbox One and PS4. No PC love unfortunately. They're not putting it out on the PC for the technical test. Uh, they say it's because they just can't factor in all of the different graphical settings that they'll need to adjust for the technical test anyway. So I can't crank it up to 4K for you guys, I'm sorry. But for those of you who've played the first Titanfall, then you already pretty much know what you're in for. Fast-paced shooting, jumping around like an alien on a space station, giant mechs falling from the sky, and punching each other in the chest. Um, so here you have the menus that I wanted to show off really quick. Your standard multiplayer shooter loadout system. But I do like, according to the package that you choose... Uh, it will also the appearance of your pilot. It just allows for more variety in the visuals, you know, the ones that you're shooting your gun at, you know, at least they look different. Um, but the best improvement I've seen in terms of um, the back end is the networking feature. It's similar to what other gun games have done with grouping, but here you can literally make a group that is based around anything you want. And other people like that who, you know, they like the same thing or they like... Uh, the same person, anything it can be. You can join that network and at any time one of those people in the network can attempt to create a game or join a game and it will send out a quick join menu to others in the same network that are in the menu um, and it makes it very easy to join up with people you want to play with. Like for me, I enjoy the uh, IGN.com just because I'm a fan of IGN.com. Shout out to them, hey. And uh, a lot of people that were in that network um, were kind of more serious gamers and so that allowed me to actually join up and play some games that actually had some good voice coordination between each other and here you have the tutorial I have a separate video that's the entire tutorial just for you guys to watch in case you don't have a chance to play this uh, but it's very simple it's like the other one the coolest thing though is at the end they have what they call the arena which is just like a time-based uh, target movement arena and once you've done that, uh, you can come back and view your scores and see how you compare to other people. And I'm sure that once the game is fully released, that their leaderboard system will actually work. Because here it's just, I believe, generic people that they put in for the leaderboards. Um, so something they teased a lot was the use of the grappling hook, which, in my opinion, isn't as great as they make it look. Because it takes some time getting used to, and even once you do, this function as a recharging power. So you can't just zip around like Spider-Man. Uh, you have to wait for it to recharge, and even though you can use it when it has a tiny amount of charge, you can't get anywhere. It's like 10 feet in front of you that it can go, and it almost makes it unusable in my opinion. I just completely forgot that I had it in my inventory. Um, one of the special power-ups that was useful, and I saw everyone almost entirely using, is the uh, sort of uh, ping sonar-based uh, throwing knife. So where this knife hits down, it'll send out a sort of ping of the area and show you enemies in that area. But the balancing for that is that the enemy team, when someone throws that, they get a little notification and a marker saying, hey, someone's thrown these sonar knives right here. And that's a good way of sort of going, well, if they're looking for people there, that means they either can see that area or they're in that area. So they have some good balancing out like that. Um, but now, see, in terms of balancing, when it comes to the Titans, the two Titans that are here, the I believe it's Iron and Scorch, um, it, it's really cool that now when you jump on a Titan, you can collect these sort of energy packs, and if um, they're an enemy Titan, you hijack it from them, you pull it out, and then you have it in your inventory. And then you can use that for a friendly Titan, and it sort of gives them a boost up. Um, I believe it's a sort of health and shield boost. Um, but once you've already taken that power pack from an enemy titan, you can then jump on the titan again and drop a grenade into this little hole that you've left and damage them. But there's no sort of quick, easy way to get rid of the titans. So I think the titans are more powerful around th this time around, but it takes way longer for them to fall. Like the timer in the first game, it felt like people were just dropping titans every other moment. But now it's like you have to be like a good at least five to six minutes into the game before you're really getting most people having their titans full. So it kind of feels more balanced that way, but it does make the matches feel longer. So in a way, it feels a little slower than the first game. Um, not, not because it's not 60 frames per second, not because it's not great frenetic action, just because the matches feel like more of a skirmish, and maybe that's what they're going for. 
and I can see why because the maps are far bigger than they used to be. I literally was running around in an open field area where there was a city where most people were and I was sort of just trying to get used to the controls while everyone else was, you know, destroying each other. Um, the other things I want to say is that with the Titans, the Titans, they included, uh, as I said, Iron on Scorch. Uh, Iron feels way too weak against Scorch. Like, Scorch is this big fire powerhouse that has sort of fire-based attacks or whatever they had considered fire in this futuristic setting that they have. And it's really good for tight corridors. Like, if you can't move left or right, but you can move forward and right, and someone, a Titan, an enemy is right in front of you, an attack you can do is you can smash the ground, and it unleashes this sort of fire trail, which is it's pretty great. It, it feels pretty badass. And, of course, the giant sort of uh, what I like to call the limit move for the Titans is this big energy beam they shoot from their chest, which is all-powerful. Most of the time, it's going to destroy your Titan. Anyone in the vicinity or happens to be jumping across and gets hit will die. If not in a Titan, at least. Um, so then, yes, again, Ion, the first Titan, feels way too weak. It's it's more fast and nimble, but it really like does not hold up to Scorch. Like Scorch consistently is the one I see used. If I ever tries to use Ion, I'd usually get destroyed because Scorch just is very powerful. And hopefully they'll sort of balance this all out, or maybe the other Titans that will be in the full version of the game um, will sort of balance each other out. Because they're definitely, even though I said Iron is more nimble, the Titans all around aren't as nimble as before. Like, defaultly, they only start with one boost. Like, so, you know, remember in the first game, you could run and then boost a couple times, boost to the left, boost to the right, get out of the way quickly. In this one, it feels like the Titans are much more sort of hulking, bigger things that are in this world so they can't just jump around really quickly get out of the way easily unless you sort of upgrade their abilities which uh again like that's fine that they have them unlockable but the balancing issues really come into you know people that have been playing for a while will have that upper hand um, which is normal when someone's sort of getting into that learning curve but I feel like, you know, as m this technical test isn't very balanced. And again, this isn't completely indicative of the final product, but I, I worry that if they don't notice the imbalance, then uh, we'll be kind of screwed day one. Another thing, actually, in terms of imbalance, the sniper class in this game is ridiculously overpowered. The, the, the sort of pseudo-sniper rifle that you get um, can fire at people from a very long distance, one shot kills, two shot if you're not too great of an aim, but everybody was using it. It, w it literally was, I just wanted to run around with my uh, machine gun and just like run on walls, run around phonetic action because it's like, you know, if I want a shooter, I can just go to Call of Duty or Battlefield. But what I like about Titanfall is being able to maneuver and move fast, and being thrown up into the air when your Titan explodes and all that stuff. But when people are using snipers, you're literally like, okay, where's the enemy? Oh, I'm dead. So I really hope that they fix that balance day one because otherwise we're very screwed in terms of not wanting to use the sniper class. But overall, I, I still had fun with the game. I still had a lot of fun uh, with the same sort of Titanfall gameplay that, that kept me coming back a little bit after launch. I mean, we all know that Titanfall 1 was a great fun game, but it did not have the standing power as other shooters would, especially a shooter of its caliber. So I'm very, very interested to see how this game turns out, and I would give this sort of, you know, review preview, um, you know, it, it's, it's good for what it is. I think that if you have a chance to do this, um, either on PS4 or Xbox One, you should really give it a try and give it another chance if, um, you know, you played the first one and got a little tired of it after a while. Um, the three game modes they include are fun, it's your standard, it, it, it's attrition again, but there's this whole cash deposit system that, you know, is it feels like just a tack on of attrition in my opinion. Doesn't really need it. Um, but yeah, uh, and then there's uh, your standard uh, domination and sort of player versus player, no titans. So thanks for checking this out, guys. Um, again, I am Exoset for Exoset the Exo. 
and please hit that like button subscribe all that good stuff share it with your friends I'm just starting out so I am just having fun doing this so I, I really hope you enjoyed and check out my other videos and have a good one